Well, I came up for a little more wood cutting today. Got off work last night at uh, 2, no, 1.30 a.m. and uh, home by 2 and uh, probably fell asleep about, I don't know, 2.15, 2.30 or so. But uh, I woke up my normal time about quarter to seven and figured, you know, I might as well get out and cut some wood while I can. But anyways, here's uh, Stacy's father's trailer. That's a nice trailer. It's uh, got uh, sheet metal sides, sheet metal sides, and it's uh, eight foot long, four foot wide, and two foot high, so that's a half a cord. But uh, there's the beast. That's my 20 inch Husqvarna. Now that thing, when you keep that chain sharp, it cuts through wood like uh, I sometimes go through uh, liquid relaxing agents. But this is kind of cool right here, you know, because I'm right here, right here on this dirt road. You know, the road kind of peters out over here, but look at there. That's not even 15 feet away from this dirt road. And there's a nice, long, dead, fallen down tree. And then uh, over here, you can see where there's a stump right there, you know, bowled over stump. And somebody has cut this section out. And there's remnants up there, you know, so there's plenty of firewood there. And there's some more over there past Stoli. But uh, somebody uh, has quite the hunting camp set up uh, further down here. I walked down there and it's quite an elaborate hunting camp. It's got the, uh, it's got the, you know, the crossbars up on the, up on the trees for, you know, hanging the deer or elk up and, you know, cleaning it out big fire pit and they got a stack of firewood down there but I thought I'll leave that there you never know I mean these guys might want to come back you know and finish out the hunting season so you know they did the work to cut that firewood and I'll leave it alone but so I just got through sharpening that uh, chain I'll top it off with some uh, gas and some uh, bar oil and uh, get at it. So anyways, you guys have a good day. Bye.